those those days, men still go after other women. They don't go after other women. Mm. Welcome back to my channel, The Bible with Tina. Today I have a guest. My name is Victoria. And we're going to talk about marriage. We're going to look at how come marriage is of old lasted so long for marriages of nowadays even among christians rarely last long one year five years and they divorce so what is the secret you know that's what we're going to look upon so i'm going to go straight to our guest to enlighten us well marriage of old and today's marriage there is a very big difference. Marriage of old, you know, before you get married, your parents would have been talking to you how married life is. Even you yourself, as with your parents, you see how your mother and father are meeting together. Marriage of the old, they respect their husband. And even when you are going into the marriage, now when we are doing marriage, they just do the wedding, go to the reception, and then that's all. But in the olden days, they don't do that. Even when the marriage is going on, they will tell you the do's and don'ts of the marriage. So who tells you the Parents of the wife will tell the wife the do's and don'ts, what you should be doing in your husband's house and what you shouldn't do in your husband's house. And the marriage of old, they respect their husband. Like the marriage of today, when they want to do whatever they want, the difference is so big. The marriage of old, they like their in-law, they respect their in-law, they respect their husband, and they never, you know, they never want a time that they will be fight between the two of them. If there is anything that wants them to bring problems, they sit down and they trash it out, they settle it by themselves. Like in those, those days, men still go after other women. They don't go after other women. No. They just stay with the wife. They stay with the wife. But those that want to marry, at times, it just get in agreement with their wife that I wanted to take the same Or if the man mistakenly does it, the parents of the man will bring the woman to show to the, the wife. Not that. We will have the separate house and the man will be going there. So they will live together. They will live together. The man and the two wives. And the two yeah, wives. but that's the thing now. Because nowadays we are not gonna accept that. I know. Yeah, we're not gonna accept I'm not gonna accept that for my husband. Yeah, and that is why these days marriage I don't I don't know what to call this. Whether it is marriage or not. <laughs> Because everybody is doing what they want. The man has a key side. And the woman at times. No, some women are faithful. But at times some women too have their own boyfriend. And there is no respect. Everybody is claiming their rights. The husband is claiming the right and the wife is claiming the right. Why the Bible say that the husband is the head? So if in the case where the man doesn't look after the wife, he doesn't look after the children, he doesn't uh, put money. You're yeah. still supposed to respect such a man? You, you can respect the man, but then why will he not look after the children? If there is a man like that, I think that's not what we deserve in this place. Because if you want somebody to respect you, you want the wife to respect you, he will do what is necessary in the house to make him the husband. Not that he will leave the woman to be doing everything. Not even in this London, a man can do that. You know some men that does that. They know they will take them to welfare. 
and the welfare will be deducting money from there by force, which is not good. So they did so basically the difference between holding and that is respect. Not only respect, you will respect your husband. And there are so many things that you ought to be doing. Your husband comes home. There is a little quarrel. Every time the man is at home, there will be quarrel. Uh -huh. The man may not want to be coming home. Because he knows that when I'm home now, it is quarrel. It is this, it is that. So you need to give the man peace of mind. Take care of the children. Because some women don't want to take care of the children. Some women are like that. But their husband also to look after the children. The two of them. Yeah, okay. Two of them should look after the children. Everything at home in the home must be taken care of by the two, by both of them. Because I, 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 once, I once watched the YouTube video. Mm -hmm. the, the lady is white, her husband is in a okay. And she said the man should take the children to the park. And the man was furious. Why should I take them to the park? What nonsense is this? In Nigeria, we don't do this nonsense. You are the one who take them to the park. Mine is just to. Uh, provide money, anything else in this your responsibility. There is nothing wrong for him to take them to the park. Even the two of them can go to the park. So there you heard it, guys. Respect and love. Both of you should do things together. Yeah. Don't bring a third party into your marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when there's a problem, do they solve it together? Yeah, they solve it together. That's the best thing. They don't go to the No, no, no. Thanks for watching and if you want to see uh, our guest back again, drop it in the comments. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye. God bless you.